What's going on YouTube? So, uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I started making a video about the Amigo interior and uh, showed a few things and paint wasn't drying and the next night I worked on it some more and then the next night I worked on it some more and then I built the K5 Blazer and it's been a week. So, I, I went back and, and watched what I'd recorded and it just wasn't wasn't flowing right, it was kind of boring and long drawn out, so just going to fast forward and pick up here. Um, done a, f a few things here since we last saw it, and I made a few changes. I did paint the interior brown, this, uh, what is it called, the satin warm caramel finish that I used for the K5 interior, and it didn't look right. I, I painted this entire tray, I did it black on the bottom, and that brown on the inside and it, it looked this is just too much too much brown so um, for now I went ahead and painted it flat black or satin black and uh, I think it's I think it's gonna work a lot better um, I'm not gonna do door panels yet I'm not gonna do a dash yet I just wanna get the interior put together my roll bar my seats the CB radio the little scale things I've got and get it in the truck and kinda get an idea of what it's gonna look like now I did paint the seats a different brown, and I like that color. It's it's a lot more realistic, I guess, than the uh, other brown was. And that's the pretty much the same color as the dash. So the dash and the seats will be brown. Everything else is going to be black for right now. Uh, I do still have some ideas for door panels, but I'm not going to be able to get into it right now. I just don't have the time. I just I really want to get this all together and see this thing as a whole. And, uh, yeah. So, um going to get started. I, I did want to show you one thing. I did go ahead and file down the edges nice and smooth and paint them flat black. And I did start painting the inside edges flat black as well to try and, uh, you know, keep some continuity because there's a little bit of a gap around the edge of the interior. And uh, that all looks good and nice together. So I'm going to go ahead and put the interior back together, put the seats in, and I've got to paint some more right now of the insides of the Amigo body, just where you can see here the door panels are going to go. I'm going to go ahead and just do those black because uh, it looks really bad with it. You can see the overspray of whatever they used on here before green. And um, yeah, start putting this thing back together. Alright guys, so i got piecing it together, uh, throwing some scale stuff in there, here and there, what I can find. Um, I, I considered doing door panels after all, but I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to rush it. Got to this point, I'm going to just wait, and when I go and detail the dash, we'll add some door panels with some more scale stuff. Um, kind of show you some of this now that it's all painted. Uh, whoop. Oh, that stupid camera got the armrest installed um, hindsight I've, I should have used something other than black <laughs> when I originally did this the interior was going to be brown so I did it black um, got my twin sticks mounted got the CB radio in got the seats in got the roll bar in um, in the back I've added quite a bit of stuff I've got my fire extinguisher uh, I've got a Rubbermaid tote. It's held in with the rare earth, earth magnets. They're glued on the bottom and inside the container. Uh, on the other side, I've got some rope, just uh, bundled, and I've got it zip tied to the bottom of the roll bar, so it'll it'll bounce around and flop around a little bit. Uh, in the back corner, uh, I've got a little I don't know from who gas tank, and it had the little mount, so I glued the mount in, and then snapped the tank in. And in the very back, I've got a 3D printed ammo can. It's got recessed rare earth magnets. I drilled it out and then I put some on the bottom so it stays put. And on the very other corner, and in this corner, I've got my little scale air compressor. And then I've got my CB antenna mounted. And it's now that it's tightened down, it's actually really springy. So it's going to be bouncing all over the place when the truck's running. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I was looking around. I don't have any Coke cans or anything to put in the, the cup holders I made, so that'll definitely be something I'll, I'll try to keep an eye out for. And, 
the seats do have room to recline back in case the uh, people need to take a nap. <laughs> There's room uh, under the roll bar. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all this in the body and I'm going to mount the body to the truck. It takes me a little time so I'll get all it seated and we'll see how it sits because I, I looked into somebody suggested I use magnets to hold the interior to the chassis but the chassis is all aluminum even the battery tray is aluminum so my magnets aren't sticking to it so I, I, I don't know I've test fit the interior since I painted it in the body and it stays nice and tight so I'm I'm thinking I did some work I don't know if I showed this either since I've changed videos changed direction on the videos I took the lid off of the receiver box and I notched it to clear my cross member on the bottom here that I mount my roll bar to and it sits right on it so I'm, I'm hoping that'll be enough uh, but I gotta test fit it and see because I've got all these magnets glued on the bottom of the interior now make sure they are not going to interfere with anything so let me get it ready right, real quick I, I got the uh, interior in and the body up and I decided to make some new holes for the body mount you can see the larger holes on the bottom of the smaller holes now this is where the original Jeep body mounts to. These are where I've narrowed it in for the Amigo body, yeah, the existing holes on the back. And I needed another few millimeter just to make the interior seat up flush against the cab. And it also, with my front mounts, it makes it set perfectly level. So I drilled new holes below it. Um, I couldn't get directly below because it was getting too close to the edge. So they're just a little bit big, but I do put those on with uh, their long bolts with uh, spacers between the body and here, and uh, nuts on the back, so they should hold tight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that put on, and let me see this thing kind of finished for now, as we'll say. All right, guys, it's in. It sits perfect. The truck's perfectly level. Everything's spaced out. The body's mounted both ends. My uh, interior is in there. Really tight, no movement. I mean, it's not attached to anything. It's just sandwiched between the body and the frame, and it's perfect. Couldn't fit any better. Uh, only thing is, I don't have a battery to fit it. <laughs> Truck's completely ready to run, except there's nowhere for a battery. I was uh, hanging out with uh, Ray Wallace today, and he brought his slew of lipos, and he had a little. I think it was like a 2,000 milliamp 2S and it was the exact size to fit inside of my console underneath so I may have to have to find me one may have to go lipo but uh yeah I'm really digging this 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 has come together nicely this, this looks better than I thought it would I'm kinda glad I just went black on the interior and uh, painting the inside for now helps hide the fact there's no door panels so not a big deal um, the dash is ugly but it matches the seats and uh, I've got an idea of using a Hilux dash a 3d printed dash to make a uh, make this a little more detailed so that'll have to happen when the door panels happen but uh yeah let me know what y'all think I uh, really digging this little antenna <laughs> um, let me turn it around here and just show you the final look so there it is the, that worked out really well, those rear body mounts, lowering them down, that's made the, the body set perfectly level, perfectly horizontal with the bottom of the frame rail. So the only thing you can see is the drive lines and the T-case mount hanging out the bottom. Um, it helped add a little bit more weight to it, so we're going to have a little bit more flex. Not much other in the rear. Hopefully uh, those little batteries are heavy, I didn't think to weigh it to see how much it weighed. But, um, I'm digging it. Um, yeah. For now, I'm really happy. This is an awesome looking little truck. I think the body's just weathered just right. Not really weathered, it's actually just used. It's got the right kind of scrapes and the primer showing through. It, it could look a little better, but... I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Also, lowering the um, rear body mounts made my little plastic Mojave bumper fit a lot better. 
now the mounts come out right at the body and it doesn't it, it fits right up into the body like it's supposed to so I think I'm I'm happy with that for now um, let's see I am gonna go ahead and mount a tire to the back I wish oh no I didn't do that before I put the uh, the body on because I've got an interior panel across the back so I can't get to the screw <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do that real quick though because that's that's part of the look with these. They always had a tire on the back, so <laughs> give me a minute. All right, guys, it only took me about ten minutes. <laughs> I uh, opted to steal the 155 Mud Thrasher from the back of my D110 because it's the only other 155 I had that's black, and I think the white one would have kind of stood out a little too much. So um, I put. Uh, Along as RC four wheel drive, one of their titanium bolts, I think. I don't know, something I got in a mystery box last year. Mystery box, and uh, ran that through. Used uh, some Tamiya semi truck kind of spacer and some RC four drive spacers, and put a nut on the outside. And I opted to go to the as it has two holes on the back. I opted to go to the far left. That way the tires offset on the driver's side. I don't know why I. It looked a little too, it wasn't quite centered on the next hole. It was still a little to the left. But uh, I don't know. To me, it just looked better all the way to the left. So that's what I went with. Uh, no big deal. I can always change it later if I change my mind. I don't know if the originals were like that or not, but it makes sense because that's closer to the hinge. You want your weight closer to the, the load bearing mount. The gate swings out that way. But anyway, yeah. I'm happy. I like the way it looks. That is a scale looking truck. So now I just gotta find me a battery and yeah, then we can get this bad boy out and run it. I still could fit a stick pack in there but you're gonna be able to see it inside the tire wells and I don't want that. I, the weight would be nice on the rear but it's just too big. So I have I have two options for mounting. I can put a small lipo across the rails under here or I can put it I get a really small lipo and put it in the cross member in the center and uh, to me that seems to make the best of the space since I've already built that big square cross member so that's that's likely what I'll end up with but give you one last look here of the uh, interior really really happy with how this is coming out and uh I just kind of wanted to wrap it up. I've been working on the Blazer back there so long, for about a week and a half now, just nonstop. I, I was kind of feeling down and out about the Amigo, so I wanted to get it together, and I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's gonna it's gonna be a fun little truck. So, anyways, thank y'all for watching, and uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more.